Washington Post investigation revealing that a D.C. based LGBTQ nonprofit group has halted its work. Tonight, its founder is nowhere to be found, and employees are left without pay. Fox 5's chief legal correspondent, Katie Barlow, has the developing story. And, Katie, what exactly is happening here? Well, good evening to both of you. Casa Ruby is well known in D.C. for providing critical services to D.C.'s most vulnerable. They help with immigration and asylum claims, with providing shelter and providing community. It was founded by Ruby Corota. It was founded by Ruby Corota back in 2012, focused on LGBT community here in the district. But recently, it has absolutely shuttered, halted its operations, and the shelters have been shut down. Employees have not received paychecks since late May. And now, Ruby can't be reached. I'm sad about it. Um, I think that a lot of people here uh, know Ruby uh, and know the organization, and especially know the organization um, when it was doing work that nobody else was doing. <coughs> so I'm very sad about it. But I also know when we give hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars <coughs> and vendors aren't getting paid, employees aren't getting paid, we've got a problem. We got a problem, so none of us can turn our back on it. We have to fix the problem. The D.C. government has given Casa Ruby hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years from both the mayor's office and D.C.'s Department of Human Services, but D.C. DHS decided to withdraw its over $800,000 grant late last year, leaving Corrado to set up a GoFundMe page. Now, according to Casa Ruby's 2020 federal tax filing, the organization had over $4 million in total revenue, and Corrado took home a $260,000 salary that year. Court records also reveal that Casa Ruby is facing at least three separate disputes over unpaid rent. One landlord complaint shows over $1 million in unpaid rent and utilities from March 2020 to December 2021. The unpaid employees left behind hope that Mayor Bowser's words mean that help is on the way. That she's not going to turn the back on us. And that's what I expect. Then. I expect that the, the government should be accountable and responsible for us to be paid because some of the funds come from, from, from the government. Again, that's Ruby Corrado who founded Casa Ruby, and we spoke to Ruby Casa Ruby employees earlier today who have not received paychecks again since late May, and that's also the last time that they had contact with her. So, again, she can't be reached at this point. Back to you.